the sixth leading cause of death in the United States continues to be Alzheimer's disease, currently afflicting nearly 5 million Americans. The disease process involves the buildup of a protein in the brain called amyloid beta, which is neurotoxic. It, it kills brain cells, leading to brain shrinkage, cognitive decline, and eventually death. In May 1970, a four-year-old girl, we know only by her initials LS, presented to Sloan Kettering with a nerve tumor. They cut it out, radiation, chemo, nothing helped, and she died a few months later. But her cancer lives on, still going 40 years later in laboratories around the world, an undying cell line of human nerve cells. And that's one way new Alzheimer's treatments are tested. You take a Petri dish of these nerve cells, expose them to the neurotoxic Alzheimer's protein amyloid beta, and they die. Uh, this is a measure of cell death. Then you do the same thing, but this time you add a substance X, whatever you're testing, to see if it saves the nerve cells from death. Uh, first you add just a little, uh, 1 in 100 dilution, and if you're lucky, less death. Aha! Uh -huh. So you add a little more, a 1 in 50 dilution, and if you're really lucky, Whoa, back to control. Right? It's like you never even added amyloid at all. Completely blocked the neurotoxicity of amyloid beta. What is this substance X? What is this AJC? Apple juice concentrate. Seriously, they just dripped some diluted apple juice on some nerve cells, and at least in a Petri dish, it worked. A similar finding was reported this year with ginger, the control cells have 100% viability, but half die when you add amyloid beta. But adding a little ginger or a little more improves nerve cell survival. The question I had when I read this study, though, was why didn't they use the whole apple, you know, blend it up, instead of just using apple juice? As always, follow the money. He who pays the piper picks the tune. And the study was funded by the processed Apple's Institute.